Make sure to follow all my other social media pages. If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram at the Healy Six, Twitter at the Healy Six. You can follow me on Snapchat at Healy Six. And I also stream on Twitch at Healy Six. What's going on, guys? Healy here. And in this video, we're going to be going over the trade that the Boston Red Sox made with the Anaheim Angels for Ian Kinsler. Before we get into it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe down below, and let me know your thoughts on this trade and what other videos I should do in the future. Well, let's get right into it. The Boston Red Sox have acquired Ian Kinsler and some cash from the Angels for left-handed pitcher Williams Jerez and right-handed pitcher Ty Buttery. The Boston Red Sox, best record in baseball, not even close for the most part, have done amazing this year. But they have had one weakness, and it has been second base. Dustin Pedroia has been injured a lot this year. He's only played in three games, and he suffered a setback and is potentially lost for the rest of the year. He does not look like he's coming back. And the Red Sox have absolutely struggled at that second base position. Eduardo Nunez, 259 on the year. You have Brock Holt, who bats 274. Not terrible. But I don't think those guys are too decent defensively. And nobody's really filled in that spot too well to help out. So that's why the Red Sox went out and got Ian Kinsler. And uh, looking at Ian Kinsler's stats, he's hitting 239 on the year, which isn't too good. He does have 13 home runs. His on base is 304, slugging 406, on, ba on base plus slugging is 710. And you might think 239 average, how is that going to be any better than having Eduardo Nunez or Brock Holt? I dug deeper into the stats, and Ian Kinsler. April, May, and June hit around 220. The key stat here is in July. He's hit 320 in 21 games so far, 84 plate appearances. His on base is 393. His on base plus slugging's 860. The Red Sox saw this and they're taking the risk to see if Ian Kinsler can continue this tear that he is on in July. Their team is solid already. But if they could fill that second base position, oh, they will be amazing come playoff time. If it doesn't work out too well, Nunez and Holt can play second base if they need them to. But I think Kinsler is going to be the starter for the remainder of the year. His contract's up at the end of the year, so we will be a rental. Dustin Pedroia will come back next year and... They don't have to worry about Ian Kinsler after this year. Moving over to the Angels side of things, they get the number 19 prospect in the Red Sox organization, Ty Buttery, and the 23 prospect, Williams Jerez. We're going to start off with Ty Buttery. 25 years of age and is a relief pitcher and is able to throw his fastballs in the upper 90s, and he even touched 101 this year in AAA. He's pitched in 32 games, 44 innings accumulated, a 2.25 ERA, struck out 64 guys in 44 innings, and only walked 14 in that span. Really good. Tried seeing if he had any major league experience. It doesn't seem like it, so... The Angels will be able to use him on their roster in the future and be able to have him under control for quite a while. Moving over to the left-hander, Williams Jerez. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've said his name multiple times already. He is a lefty thrower, and he can hit the high 90s as well. He's 26 years of age, so he's a little on the older side, just like Ty but he doesn't have any major league experience as well. And the minors this year, he's pitched in AAA as well. 3.63 ERA, pitched in 34 games, 52 total innings. He struck out 69 guys. It's pretty nice. 
He walked 24 guys. So he walks guys a little bit more than Ty. But just like Ty, he has no major league experience. And the Angels will be able to keep him under team control for a long time. If those two guys pan out, good for them. The Angels would win the trade then. But if they don't, it doesn't matter. Because like I said, Ian Kinsler was going to be a free agent at the end of the year. And I don't think the Angels would re-sign Kinsler. I think his asking price would be too much. And he just hasn't performed too hot for the Angels liking He's a little bit on the older side. He might go back there in the future if the Angels wanted to hand out money to him for a cheaper deal. But at this point, he's going to enter free agency. You might as well get something back for him and see if you can get lucky with some of these guys. Another good deal in the major leagues, the Red Sox. They are looking scary. We'll see this year if they can close it out and win another World Series because they are on fire. Will this be the piece that they needed? We will find out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe down below. This is Healy, and I am out. Peace.